Hostiles. Hello. Welcome to the worst part of the flight, the debrief. Donkey's here. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I feel like as the E2 guy in the group, I should already be at the O Club. What am I doing here? Uh, hold on. We dragged you in so oh, you could tell us how that's awesome that's we are as auto fighter pilots. Oh, good. That's um, what you need. Somebody to help boost right. your ego. So for the introductions, Gonky's a real fighter pilot. He actually flew in real life, probably, allegedly. Uh <laughs> I like where him. this is going if you say he's Wait. actually a real fighter pilot. Wombat is a Mustang driver Whoa. who flew an E2 and a Hornet. And go get his new book, Vengeance Flight. It's so controversial, the government doesn't want you to see that. Can I say that? That's a, that's a fact. Wait, is that you just put your blurb too up. hot to handle. Did you put me on the Donkey cover? doesn't even know that story. I didn't tell him. No, we'll tell him later. Like that's Dude, that's donkey. That's a not, that's a viper right there. Not everybody in a mask and a helmet is you, Gonky. Like that's for the love of God, let it go. Gonky's got four hundred. He also has this Mustang. <laughs> Could you get a picture with a better floor, please? All right. Well, let's go to the debrief before we get to the uh, ACMI. Which thanks to uh, Tech View Advanced for hooking us up with that. Also, thanks to Fox Three MS for the server. I'm going to keep thanking them because they did a great job. Otherwise, we couldn't wings. get this done. And wings, or else wings. I would have a virtual flying machine. <laughs> right, wings. Based on your internet uh, connection right now, that goes without saying. Yeah. All right. So, uh, since Gonky has deferred, a uh, wombat, you want me to run it? Are you running this? What are we you doing? You run Who's it. This is your channel. Okay. You run it. All right. So let's do the whole Air Force thing. Anything for the plans, products, or brief? Oh, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> the plan, plan wait the plan no. was to rematch wait the plan was to rematch the f-16 versus f-18 because last time was a bit of a slaughter oh boy oh boy oh. Wow. Your wing, hey, your see. wings unlocked this time. Ah, oh, boy. Ah, <laughs> actually, it wasn't that bad. The first time was actually more even. Uh, yeah, we can knock it off if you want. All right, knock it off, knock it off. Let's you knock it off. Uh, it was a rematch. You went back to wings. The first time you went to wings, the second time you went to wings. So this is part two of the wings. Uh, and our plan was just to do neutral setups, butterfly, and a beam set. We didn't have any products, and we didn't brief. And we decided that Gonky was going to be the flight lead, so I don't know why I'm debriefing this, but I'll just keep running with it because Gonky says he just wants to sit there in his command mobile command center and look pretty. As he's been... Uh, f first of all, why does my channel like you more than me? That, I have a problem with that. Gonky has you know, been this way. I'm going to step in. He's been this way since flight school. And I think it's because he comes across as just the slightly below average man to everybody. Like, nobody awesome. puts him on a pedestal. He's oh, like a big God. cuddly bear. He's like... <laughs> If I, Gonky can I do just, it, any of us have a chance. That's basically well, his persona. That's valid. <laughs> I, 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 I'm reading these comments and it's like, oh, well, you know, Gonky, uh, you know, he had all these excuses, which we'll get to in a second. But Mover didn't win because of tactics and, and sound flying. He won because go he got lucky and Gonky just happened to not know what he was doing. Like, <laughs> cool. Thousand hours flying these things, I guess. F-16, nah, it doesn't matter. whatever. It doesn't matter. doesn't matter. I've heard comments Gonky's that you were never even a real fighter pilot. I heard you were a maintenance guy mover. That's what I've seen. So Because that's that's we true. That's true. We were the maintainer. Ma Sounds good. Yeah. yeah. I, maintenance yeah. guys Start are rolling channel. over in their graves right now. Maintenance no, with mover. They don't want me anymore. No, dude. I once <laughs> dropped a fuel filter in a gas tank on an airplane. I'll never be asked to do that. That's a whole different story. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not allowed. Okay, so are we talking about funny maintenance stories for a second? Because I once lost my ID from this pocket into the pressure bulkhead of an E2 on a trap, and they had to take the plane apart for 48 hours. But I got my ID back. So, well, this is that. There's that. Okay, we're already off the rails four minutes into this. This is good. Um, this is good. Uh, <laughs> 
Yeah. All right. Let's get to the uh, alibis. Wait a minute. Safety is. Well, okay. You got anything for safety TRs? I think we'll have a bubble violation here a couple times. Uh, Gonky violated the deck. He hit the ground. Um, I think I'm more than 135 degrees on the gun a couple times, maybe once. Um, what else? You didn't call it. We didn't get a clean knock it off on one of those sets. Okay. Reset. Hold on. Knock it off. You and your you and your calm discipline. Hold on. Bye bye. Mover one, knock it off. Mover two, knock it off. Gawky three, knock it off. So, oh, did we ever knock it off? Are we still fighting? I don't know. Gawky didn't want to do any comms. We didn't know what our call signs were. It was Gawky and Mover at one point. Yeah, Gawky Speed Angels left. <laughs> Mover Speed Angels were. Right. <laughs> um, what else? Yeah, pretty much all safety point? TR out the window. Yeah, covered. So a whole lot of bad stuff with safeties and admin attack admin. Good. This all right, alibis. Yeah. Alibis. My first Go with your alibis. Was fine, Dean. That's my that's my alibi. It's not your first time at Wings. It's your first time on this setup, right? The new setup. Yeah, they got they had a. Uh, it's really awesome, uh, but I don't. I wasn't familiar with it, so Mike was helping. Why was it new reason. for me? What was the difference? Just curious. Uh, well, like you know, what does what? Different buttons. They had a different. Uh, they had a motion seat in there. They're trying to use. Ooh. They had a different stick, and it was uh, quite far forward. It was about a foot or so farther forward than a normal Hornet stick. So. If I relied yeah, on muscle memory, I found myself yeah. I found myself in a vertical pull. <laughs> so, um, which you'll see. How many years uh, has it been since the muscle memory that you're relying on? Just, <laughs> so we're curious. Well, I just don't know. I don't remember. Is these are all well, honest? But valid. these are what the viewers want to see. Valid. That's a very valid comment. But I would say uh, an anatomically correct cop cockpit, so including the T thirty eight or even an airliner the control column or the stick is about your arms width away, not a foot beyond that. Hey, put the blurb, <laughs> put the blurb, put the blurb. Where's the blurb? Oh yeah. Uh, okay. Hey. Sorry. We got too far into this. Yeah. There's um, a blurb. I was presented on my own my, or my guess. That and actually fits for me right now too, apparently, because apparently I'm on the radar too much. Breaking. Okay, cool. That's my big album. Um, not, not familiar okay. with the flying machine. What? So I do have a question. Did it have a, a spring? It had a spring, right? Yeah, super light, man. Kind of. See, All somebody right. actually oh. messaged me and asked me that. He So he had watched this fight, and he was laughing at Gonky. I won't mention who it is, but he'll know because he messages me on Instagram. And he was like, Gonky's flying this thing like you would fly a real fighter, but it doesn't have any control loading or feedback. Is that accurate? Like, because control loading is something I know from the sim. So, like, yeah, that would be messed up if that was the case. So, for the uh, I, first set, you didn't have VR. That was the other alibi. <laughs> Only the first yeah. set, but the first set, you were what using the stick to, to look, to snap look? Uh, so, I would look straight ahead or I would look straight up, straight ahead or straight up. So, that's why that's I was like, I just real life. That's, yeah. why, that's why I did a continuous loop, like five of them. <laughs> Yeah, that worked out really well. Um, all right. So for movers alibis that nobody cares about because I'm a maintainer that doesn't actually fly jets, I got lucky. I um, it was my first time with my setup, too. Believe it or not, I had just gotten the, the desk mount and stuff. Uh -huh. I've been last it was time the first I did for it, both of you guys. That's cute. Last time. Last time I did this, I just had the controller on the desk. So this time I've moved up to actually having it mounted to a desk. Uh, the spring on the stick, it's the heavy spring, the VPC Warbird. So anytime I was in the center, it would mush and bounce off the, the center spring. So anytime I was trying to go for a gun, it was very hard to get any kind of fine muscle movements because the thing would bounce and mush. That's my excuse. That's my only alibi. Otherwise, I was a full up jet, as we'll see in the fights. Admin, to and from the airspace. Gonky, you got into a PIO and almost crashed. I had to tell you to pull up. <laughs> don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Pull up, pull up, pull up. I got it. Trick flaps. Yeah. 
I, yeah, I think I this is really realistic from what I remember from his Navy days, actually. So I think I left his laps down <laughs> until we got the fights on. I don't know, yeah, it's all kinds of. I couldn't figure out how to put stuff up and down. That's where Mike came in. He's kind of like my Standard. wizard. So we we did the the two takeoffs. We got that settled. You got VR eventually. We never landed, either of us. So I landed. R.I.P. Well, you landed, landed at, in the desert. Uh, high velocity into the desert. Okay. Well, that's it. Tack admin. I think the sets were expeditious. We'll look at the setups as we go. But I mean, we got together and we made it happen. So that's all that matters. Are you ready to begin the actual stuff that people care about at eleven minutes? I love debriefs. Let's let's do it. <laughs> so this is set one. Uh, as you can see, this is a, a beam set. Mile and a half is a mile and a half standard for a beam set, or do you want to be closer to a mile? Yes, can sir. you do either? I think one you can mile. do either. Yeah, one, one mile. Whatever you want, but the can is a mile. All right. So your wingman sucks here uh, at a mile and a half and sucked aft for the Navy folks. Gonkey's at 382 knots. I'm Perfect. at 391 trying to catch up. Uh, we're at 16,000 feet. And uh, yeah. All right. We'll stop as we go. Turn in, fights on. Gonki immediately does a split S. What were you thinking? <laughs> Aircraft 2 does a split S? That's the gutsiest move I ever saw, man. <laughs> I figure I'd really scare you with a face full of mountains. Dude, I don't even remember. Have I departed yet? Okay, so here's what I'll say on this one. I, I, this might be an alibi. I went through after and checked all my controls. I could not get my nose on you. Like it's only pulling 20 alpha here. It's a 26 alpha limiter. I could not get my nose around. So right here should have been an easy gunshot, especially at three 3,700 feet in closing. I mean, that oh, should have been, is... we should have been done. I, I hey, do like that you I froze like... it at 6.9 G's. Nice job mover. That's YouTube quality right there. That's this... professional. Hey, this is the one this is the one I can only look up and down. So I think all I was trying to do is keep you in my field of view. Okay. Well, you know this should have been it over right here. However, uh, poor execution on my part means that it's not. And actually, I will get stuck because I can never get the nose around uh, to do this. This is a perfect gunshot. I mean, it should be done right now. Mm -hmm. But Aircraft 2 performs a split S. <laughs> Zone 5 and extend right there. Dude, I've got my nose. Like, how is that not? That's perfect. That's a 3K set. Let's see you. See you later. But I suck. And this is Gonky's best set. <laughs> Where he couldn't see. What, I really don't see you? Yeah, see, <laughs> I, I don't. I'm fighting a ghost out there. I don't there. get any, any AOA out of this. And <laughs> our rates are pretty much the same. You're doing all you can, and we'll just be in this infinite loop. I'll never be able to get my nose around. You squat the jet here, dude, and the Viper can't do that. <clears throat> yeah. I didn't mean to squat it, probably. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. a good squat, though. It's a good squat. So right here, I need to float over the top and go to the go to the elbow. I'm still getting greedy because I'm frustrated now, uh, but but I'm I'm too pinched. I cannot, I cannot get my nose around to get the shot. So got to go to the elbow, got to go to lag and be patient. And Gonky's in the infinite loop. I don't well, recall I that. Manage. Is that new Top Gun recommends? Yeah. Yeah. It's called go up, blow up, maybe. <laughs> Uh, so I complain that I can't go over the top. Well, it's hard to go over the top at 150 knots. The, the, even the Viper won't do that very well. So uh, hit, hit on me. I thought I was a little faster when I when I tried to follow you. I didn't extend enough. But again, I don't know. I, I eventually got fixed with whatever control. I think I had multiple inputs doing like the steering wheel right here was trying to control the jet at the same time. Sounds like an alibi. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Well, and, that one. And here's you really see, helped him there. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah, yep. loop number three will be the one that helps. Oh, I can't. I mean, dude, he's he's at thirty-five alpha. I can't do that. I just have to keep going to the elbow. 
Look at this. That's the beauty of the Hornet. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that dude, you know, I, I can't never... like. Dude, that's a really good move. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, of you're at 110 right. knots. Perfect. Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. So stay there place. all day. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just extending for my next loop. I'm just trying to get a vertical <laughs> speed. They taught you that advance. <laughs> I'm trying to preserve range and angles because every time you do this, dude, it, it it crushes me. Now all all the DCS nerds are going to be like, I'm going to do an infinite loop, the gonky maneuver. <laughs> the gonky loop. <laughs> you know, actually, if I was able to maintain sight of you instead of just looking straight up and straight ahead, uh Watching it like this, I can see how it would actually be pretty effective. <laughs> yeah, dude, it, it was. I mean, I'm just, yeah. I just keep the, th the thing is you have to keep going to the elbow and you have to keep extending because yeah. if you don't, you get greedy. Well, to be honest, dude, this yeah. is just a very vertical roller. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But I finally get the nose around. Well, cause I extend. Oh, you turn. Yeah, you 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 turn and extend. See, you you changed your tactics. If you'd have just done that, dude, yeah. you could have bingoed me out. And that's it for set one. Questions on the. I think the trajectory of my loops was heading downwards. Pretty sure I'd have hit the ground. It's a bold strategy. Uh -oh. The old strategy. How close to the dirt can I get? <laughs> set two. Welcome back. Uh, we're gonna do a butterfly set. 17,000 feet. Gonky, what was your plan here? <laughs> uh, do a nice cutaway, not lose sight, turn in, probably left to left. And that's really okay. all I remember, cool. man. All right. All right. So uh, 350 I knots, 17,000 feet. Let's go faster and funnier. I'm slow. Like real slow. If I'm if I'm starting this at 350 knots, I want to be 400 plus. But I get it back. This is the second set where you have VR and we're clean jets. This time there's no pylons, no rails. We're demo clean. As intended. So my plan is just to turn across your tail and see what you do. Pretty simple. Deny turning room. Somebody said it's cheating that I was turning before the merge, but that is no, the I was too. Yeah. So here's the merge. Gonky, you've actually got a little bit better turning room than me, but you're 320 knots. I'm at 490. You're probably wanting to take this one circle. Uh, yes. Yeah, so <clears throat> for whatever reason, I should have been doing about uh, 80 knots more because <laughs> no, it wasn't my plan to, to take a one circle immediately. That's oh, never so my you plan. wanted to turn across my tail too? Yeah, so my, okay. my plan well, is always turn across the tail, then force one circle. But I, I don't know what correct. I did here. You did turn across the tail, and you actually, you're outrating, well, you're not outrating me, but. Um, oh, dude, I'm only doing 290 you're, you're, knots? Oh. 247? Like, you just pulled, dude. You pulled, and you're down to 3.8 Gs. Meanwhile, a mover is at. Well, we're at the same turn rate. It's just I'm going to be able to get around. Dude, right here, if we were had heaters, I would be done. That is oh, a yeah. Hornet thing. Yeah. Oh, oh 100%. Yeah, do, just so everybody knows, I, I was not trying to do helmet missile shots, so it's, it's not an alibi. <laughs> I mean, you're... It was just that muscle things. memory coming back to you, right? No, I never. I oh, always train. I always my muscle memory is gunshots. Well, yeah. you've got How angle. Many of those right battles here. did you win with that muscle memory? Yeah. <laughs> the problem is now. Do. My plan is to take all this excess energy that I have over you and go up. How much? Yeah. Because I knew you were going to go one circle, or at least try. But it looks like you departed the jet. Does this yeah. was this your plan, or you just lost control? Departing the jets never actually part of my plan, but 
Sometimes it happens. Are you, are when... you departed? Well, I guess the question is, are you departed right now? Or is this well, what now, you be careful. This is an unclass server, so you don't want to give away the secrets yeah. of the Hornet, Johnny. <laughs> no, Just because saying. I'm only remember those non disclosures. No, so 23 alpha you're not departed but dude it's the whole it's the whole control feel like i'm looking at you trying to fly the 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 jet and it's like it over rotates over pulls because of me obviously but i, I don't know it well so my lip we've now my lip replacement is sloppy <clears throat> we, we've sloppy. now created a two circle fight vertically uh and i'm over the top with 5,000 feet of turning room. So that's going to help a lot. Because the jet will go over the top like that. And we almost get back in that same situation we were in a while ago. But you're yeah. at 177 knots. Yeah, dude. See, here's the thing. At, <clears throat> I don't know. At, so in the real airplane, at those altitudes, slick. At that speed I have the bottom, I can go over the top again. So that's what I tried to do. But of course, with the with the with the crazy joystick, like immediately I bled all the speed. You know, it's I mean it's a you gotta milk it. Yeah. And I, I just didn't have the finesse. So you're well, saying DCS is a this. lot more realistic than any of us thought. <laughs> well in the real jet I could I, in the real jet I seventy five percent of the time I, I'd make it. I'd make it do a, do a slow loop like that. Cause it's all instruments, but in DCS a hundred percent of the time I don't make it. So. Well, once again, mover gets lucky and gets a 2000 foot gunshot. Yeah. Or you could say I skillfully maneuvered you to my six o'clock position. <laughs> you, go. you were so waiting good, for yeah. me to come as your wingman. I just, yeah. Does not wingman. Yeah. Hawk wingman. Ryan, I need help. My lot 12 was broke on the deck, actually. <laughs> this is the third set. And Gonky is at 350 knots, 377 knots, 17,000 feet-ish. What's your game plan? Same thing? Uh, probably left to left. My normal game plan is turn across the tail, react, and then force a one circle. But I, I don't know. Hang on. That's my game I plan. I float the turn in, dude. I give you so much turning room on this turn yeah, in. No kidding. If you I can't really floated this one, it, bro. Jeez. Well, the thing was, I was trying to get my airspeed back. I didn't want to be like I wanted yeah. to get 450 plus at the merge because I'm an F-16. Yep, but he's way below that. He's bleeding airspeed already. Now it's coming back. Okay. So, oof, this is a close merge. Is this a training rule violation? No, dude. Uh, 31 that's... miles. I don't think so. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's hard to tell. I can't see. Did I just use my hands 600 again? Feet. It's, it's 600 feet. It's 600 oh, feet. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. I yeah. gave him 100 feet of turning room. And look, look at that. I'm lead turning. Hold on. Right. Uh, or, or as they say, 385 feet. So that will, uh, there's our TR there. Thank you. We are close enough oh, to look at that. The guy, the guy who was the, the guy who was the eye in the sky you. when he started his career. You see that? I'm just saying. Just saying. Don't knock Pass the hockey guy. Line, dude. Don't count. Global situation. Uh, Gonky, we're pretty well level, both at 16,000 feet. Uh, I got the airspeed advantage now, but you got a lot more angles out of this out of the way here. So, good job. Yeah. I didn't deny the turning room as I should have. All right. Let us begin. Now oh, she snowballs. See all... <laughs> like, and that's where it went downhill. Yeah. Great merge. Well, no, dude, you go downhill. That's good. I mean, dude, that's a that's pretty clean. Yeah, the execution is is terrible. That's, I just don't have a feel for it, man. So, I'll tell you what my plan is: turn across your tail and then use God's G to to G it up. I mean, I wanted to do a nine G all the way across. Why? That was my that's, plan. The old, that's the old Viper. Ouch! That we would see. <laughs> viper, ouch! You go low to high, and then you come back around, and you point at him first. Influence you with my nose, but Gonky's doing level. My neck hurts just watching this. I mean, no one expects Gonky to do 190 knots. 
<laughs> That's the no key. One, Keep them guessing. No one, no one expects Gonky to come down here and then. Uh, look, he, he eases up here. He gets 200 knots. He's going to my elbow. So we square the corner, dude. We're back to a neutral mer merge. Second merge here. Dude. How close? That looked close. No? Nah, seven hours nah, further away. Okay. But, I mean, dude, we're neutral again. But now my game plan is to go up and see if you can emblem with me because I know you're a little bit lower on energy than you'd like to be. No, dude, it's 294 knots. 300 knots. You can easily, you know, you can easily go over the top. These, this is a slick jet. At, well, how high are we? 12,000 feet? 12,000. You go straight up, man, in a hornet. But you don't. If you don't sell it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. So if we're doing missiles, dude, I'm done. Dude, how did I lose 100? What did I lose? 200 knots in two seconds there? Because you're at 45 it's alpha, full, dude. Yeah, it's definitely. You're a one and zero fighter right now. That's what you're doing. <laughs> 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 if you were in a T-45, yeah. you'd just be pitch bucking. That's it. That's all. You, remember those days? That's all well, you do. That's, hey, that's feel, right? Well, and that so goes I, back I, to what I, I said at the beginning about the control loading. Like, I don't think you're used to that. Like, no, the no feedback really jacks you up. Because you, you haven't played a lot of videos. You'll feel yourself lose 200 knots. Yes. Like, that quick. Usually back. right <laughs> here. A little bit back here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, or you'll, your vision will turn off as you're losing <laughs> losing all those knots. That's true. All right. Well, that's a gun guns track kill, however, comma, it's a training rule. Uh, at 100, uh, greater than 135 degrees on the gun. Probably going to get <laughs> talked mean, to about that. Yeah, Mover, I, I just want to interject here. It's not... That I'm upset at this move. I'm just disappointed in you for doing it. That's all. I mean, look, no, I rolled, dude. I wasn't bunting. I wasn't bunting. It's when you bunt, that's when it's a problem. This is kind of a. Mm, we'll still. have to ask Deuce if he if he still thinks this is a TR. Well, Matt, did you but, know in the Air Force the wings level bunt is not allowed for guns defense? What? Right. But but 300, yes. 395 feet is a training rule. So. Yeah, dude, they don't do the wings level bunt. Even I after I movie. demonstrated it to them many times and the Raptor couldn't shoot me with the gun. And then when I told them what I was doing, they freaked out. Yeah, it works. that's an amazing move. Yeah, it works. It's Typical it's chair force training, not like they're going to fight. Pretty much. <laughs> Ridiculous. Go back and play golf. <laughs> <laughs> They probably took it out of their manuals because it was so effective. They're like, no, nobody could win fights that way. So, <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to lose the Air Force followers from this. That is sets one through three. If you want to watch the rest, go to Gonky's channel, The Ready Room. Thanks, Wombat, for being on my channel. Go check Thanks out his book, me. which would, should be coming out June 6th, 6, 6, 6, 9, 69. 6. D Day. 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. DJ, mm -hmm. DJ, okay. check out his book. Go check out the Ready Room. Thank you for your service, all of you. Mm -hmm.